All right, guys, so here in my hand, we have the Sony NEX 5R. And what I like about the Sony 5R is this thing is really small. Like, look at it. It's kind of cute, right? I mean, it's really small and it's just compact. You know, it's perfect travel camera, basically. But besides that, guys, let's go ahead and get into this review. So this camera does have a 16.1 megapixel. So if you guys wanted to know the megapixel for this camera that's basically what it's going to be but of course that doesn't really matter what megapixels any camera has because it's all about composing your shot and taking the right moment so know your camera basically guys so understand your camera and you can make any picture look good with any camera so that being said there are some pretty simple things to go over in this video so i'm not going to bore you too much with specs but um Basically, this is a 1080 by 60 frames per second camera, so no 4K, unfortunately, but it does have a nice trade-off. This has Wi-Fi, so you can transfer everything via Wi-Fi to your device with uh, the Play app, So, which is really cool. But that being said, guys, this camera does have a lot of good things and bad things going for it. So, number one is, like I said, there is no... 4k support and of course the biggest problem for me personally it's not a deal breaker but you know how do you take a picture of a camera <laughs> without the viewfinder right so this does not have a viewfinder unfortunately so as you can see on the back there is no way to actually you know look out the viewfinder to line up your actual shots but that's okay because it does have a flip screen and also touchscreen so you can use this as both a video camera or a camera camera so you do have this kind of option to have it like that and you can slide it up a little bit so more about this in a minute so now that we're in the back of the camera let's go ahead and go over some of the things that you would find on this camera so on the back of course we have the wheel so you can toggle between the menus if you wish and you have a button in the middle and you have a clicker up here so these are pretty clicky so don't worry and what's really unique is there is this I don't know if you guys can hear that but it's got the spinny wheel which is really cool so um, basically when you are making a video you can actually do this all in real time which is really great to change your aperture or your ISO on the go so you don't have to fumble with the screen or the menu button so also at the bottom you're gonna find the button down here for your Wi-Fi and you're gonna also find the top button to get into the menu but of course this is a touch screen so you will be able to just touch everything that you need to get to and of course if we go to the top of the camera we're going to find this function button and we're going to find the playback button and the record movie button which is uh, it's fairly small guys so you're gonna have to really like push this in but you're going to have the playback button, your shutter button, and function. So this is really useful when you're making uh, videos on the go and you want to just press the function button, you can do that. And of course, you're going to have the on and off switch right here. So I actually like it right up here. This is really cool. It's very unique. And um, also, there is no flash. So just keep in mind, guys, if you need to have flash for models or something, you're going to have to buy the NEX add-on for that. But you are going to have the two microphones on the top, which is decent, but of course it's not going to be anything as good as a microphone like this one or any mic that you have, so just keep that in mind. So on the side of the camera, we're going to find the slots for the charger and we're going to have the HDMI connection, so you can connect that to whatever. Also, it has a detachable lens, so just like any alpha camera, you can detach the lens and add a E-mount lens if you wish, or any other lens that you want to get, but you'll need to get an adapter, so make sure you know what lens you want to adapt this to. Um, at the bottom, we will find the door, so you can put the door here, and you can also do the SD card right there. So, you will find your full... Um, mounting hole for tripods or anything in that nature so that being said that is basically what this camera is about 
and uh, I have to tell you guys there's a disclaimer for this video because I got this camera for free so I can't tell you how much these really go for unfortunately so <laughs> there's this lady she gave me this camera and uh, she didn't really know much about mirrorless cameras and she just thought this was a little point shoot camera but it's um, actually a full-size mirrorless camera so that being said guys I have took some looks for these cameras on the web and they go for a pretty good price so I would definitely say get this camera if you can get it for under 200 bucks or maybe way under $300 but of course these were really expensive at the time when they first came out but now that these are older cameras these are actually really useful and the picture quality man the picture quality is really good I will try to get some sample pictures in this video if I can but um, let me just tell you guys this is really good so <laughs> definitely get this camera it has HDR so if you guys are into the HDR effects then that definitely has that and you will find all the great goodies that Sony cameras come packed with so you're gonna find that all here and of course I will show you guys the menu if you guys are curious so the camera's on hopefully I can show you guys the menu if I can get the camera to pick it up so um, I don't think the camera is really gonna pick it up but yeah you have your menus and you can scroll through it yeah the camera's not really picking it up guys but anyways you can scroll through and select everything that you would find on a normal camera from Sony but that being said guys I'm not gonna make this video too long because there's not much else that I need to tell you about this camera other than it doesn't have 4k and it has Wi-Fi so that's really the only two factors but besides that guys if you have another NEX hanging around you can swap the batteries out for those and you can also swap the lenses so if you want to move up your NEX camera and you want to upgrade to this one you have lenses that'll fit it so that being said guys um, I would definitely get this in 2022 if you are into um, photography and video so if you are a beginner vlogger this could actually be a really good camera to start off with but of course this is geared towards anybody who's into Instagram and photography so that would be really great for this camera because it has Wi-Fi so not much to complain about it's a really good camera so that being said guys definitely pick this up if you can get it I would definitely buy this camera but again disclaimer I got it for free so I can't complain but that being said guys I hope this video was useful and helpful so if not you know hit the dislike button and if you found this video very useful and helpful give it a thumbs up and uh, most importantly share this video with someone who's trying to get into photography and perhaps getting a Sony NEX 5R so that being said guys I will catch you in the next video and if you feel like subscribing go ahead and subscribe that's always fun so I will see you guys around next video peace